In part four of this project, I'm going to make these side rails so I can get the headboard connected to the footer and then this thing will start looking like a bed. Let's get started. Using Tight Bond 2, I started out by face gluing two 8 foot long 1x6s to make an 8 foot long 2x6 to use for one of the side rails. I used a lot of glue and as many clamps as I could find in order to try and prevent any gaps in the glue up. After the glue dried, I removed all the clamps and cleaned up the edges of the board using my electric hand planer to smooth the edges and remove any dry glue squeeze out. I'm not crazy about this electric hand planer, but it did come in handy to smooth out the edges of these long 8 foot boards. It also has a switch on it to direct the sawdust out either side of it, and I clearly don't have it set correctly and will be doing a lot of cleanup when I'm done. Finally I came back with the sander to smooth the edges down a little more and then I repeated all these steps a second time to create the side rail for the other side as well. After I had glued together and cleaned up both 8 foot long side rails, I took them over to the miter saw and cut them to length. Next it was time to install the threaded inserts into the side of the rails that would attach to the headboard that I built in part 3 of the series. After drilling two pilot holes, I widened them to the size specified for the threaded inserts, and then using a special threaded insert installation bit, I installed them into the side rails. This end of the side rail will connect to the footer that I built in part two of this series. I will need to drill two through holes for the bolts that will connect it to the footer using threaded inserts. I will also need to countersink those through holes so that the bolts will sit just inside the side rail. With these through holes countersunk into the side rail, the bolt will sit just inside it so that the cross support that I built into the footer will sit flush with the side rail when it's inserted. Next up was to install the threaded inserts that would be used to bolt the side rail onto the footer. In order to get the holes lined up properly, I inserted the side rails into their matching footer posts and drilled a pilot hole into the footer using the side rail holes as a guide. Now I needed to widen the holes using a Forstner bit to the specified sizes for the threaded insert. Due to the narrow thickness where I needed to install these, I used a low profile insert from Rockler that worked great, but can be a bit tricky to get installed. The key is to not over tighten it when installing, and to also not over tighten the bolt during assembly. I never found a special bit to install these, but using a short bolt with a nut on it worked really well for getting them put in. The last step was to drill holes into the headboard posts for the bolts that will connect to the threaded inserts installed into the opposite end of the side rails. Now I just need to put it all together. The last thing I needed to do was rip down another 2x6 to use as the two upper side rails. These simply slid into place with no need for any bolts. Now that I've assembled the pieces that I've built so far, this is really starting to look like a bed and my son is starting to get very excited, but I still have a lot of work to do. If you'd like to continue following along with the project series, feel free to scroll down to the description below and click that subscribe button. In the next video in the series, I will be building the vertical slats that will make up the guardrail for the bed to help keep it safe. Until then, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.